Hungry time, right? So, um, first of all, I want to thank you guys all for being here. Um, that means a lot to your business, as well as a lot to us. And um, it's important to realize that uh, once you make that commitment and decide, okay, this is it, then we need to get started right. But I want to tell you a little story. And I asked permission for magic because it involves magic. But um, so I've been in USANA carrying the products very much like Dr. Ladd in my office. I'm a functional diagnostic nutritionist. I work with doctors. They usually send me um, patients when um, they don't know what to do with them. It's like this person, um, just to give you an example, I work with um, usually um, cancer patients, cancer survivors, but um, my two specialties are gut dysfunction and hormone imbalance. But right now, most recently, last week, I was at the house of a, a pancreatic cancer person. So those are the kinds of things that I actually work with. So for the longest time, I wasn't building the business. I was just using the products because they're amazing. And I was having some amazing, phenomenal success with these products and my clients. That's just the way it was. And so I was very comfortable in my little comfort zone, right? And somebody says to me, okay, it's time for you to get up there and, you know, do your thing and, you know, build the business. And I looked at my husband and I said, well, you're still working full time. You said that this was the way we needed to do this. Now what? He goes, I don't know, you're the educator. So, um, so what ended up happening was Magic was um, very instrumental in pushing me forward. And um, so much so that I sort of got angry. So know that sometimes it's okay to sort of get out of your comfort zone with your upline. Right? We, we're not supposed to use that, but you're... And so it was really funny because I was very angry, right? And I decided, well, I'll show him. Mm -hmm. And so I called Yusana, and it was really interesting. I called Yusana, and I said, okay, I want to know who my direct upline is because I want to work with them to get this business started so they can teach me. And so it was so funny because I sat there and I was on the phone with USANA and, and they were giving me a list of names. I still have the paper. There's like 12 lists of names and, and each time they gave me a name, they said, oh, wait a minute, they're not building the business anymore. Oh, wait a minute, they quit. Oh, wait a minute, that's not it. At the end of the list, they said, guess what? You're it. You're it. I said, I'm my own upline? And it was like, okay, I guess that's it. So hard reality for us is, is to realize that we're in this business together with other people, but the truth of the matter is, is you've got to show up and show out, right? That's, there's just no way around that. And when you decide, miracles can happen. So it was two years ago I decided, okay, it's just me, I'm gonna build this business. And it didn't go very fast, but in two years I made it to school director. So, uh, but the truth of the matter is, is that this, the, you know, when, when Michael was up here um, giving the statistics, you wanna know a really scary statistic? Magic was just part of it. But then I got a call from the university dean and said, you know what, we might have to cut your classes because they fall under electives. So at the college level, now I was facing restructuring and downsizing. So I had to do something. And here I thought, I thought about it and I thought, here I am. I've got a couple master's degrees and I'm going to be downsized. I gotta do something. So there was that, that and then Magic on the other side. So thank you, Magic, for pushing me to the limit and getting started. So um, that's when, it, you know, that's when it is. So when, when you decide, that's when it's gonna happen for you. That's when it's gonna happen for you. And I remember sitting last year, thank you, Dr. Ladd, I was sitting at his table and he said to me, when I realized 
He said, he pulled me aside and he said, Marty, you got this. He goes, when you realize you can do this, you can do this. I was a silver, I don't think I was a silver director yet. As a matter of fact, I wasn't. I was just a director and, um, and that was it. That was it. So thank you, Dr. Ladd, for that too. So um, let's talk about getting started now. So getting started, the beauty about um, USANA nowadays is that we are USANA United. And I didn't get it until we came to this last convention. You see, because last convention, even though I was on stage, I heard a lot of people saying, team this, team that, team this. And I thought, oh, wow, we're being divided. And so that was interesting for me. But this last um, convention, how many of you guys were there and felt the unitedness? We are all together in this. So even though you have your own business, we now all share everything. Because how do we all get ahead? Is by having that mentality that there's enough abundance for all of us. And I do not have to compete with any of you guys to have my abundance. But on the contrary, I, by helping you, get my abundance as well. And that's the beauty about USANA United. So I was so happy that I've got a clicker on one thing and I got a challenge. Okay, so anyway, um, so I was very happy to find that because I'm an educator, I created this awesome, you know, um, thing for my team. And it was, you know, I, I, I written curriculum. So you need to know that I'm a retired um, administrator. So, um, I created this awesome curriculum. It was like the size of Dr. Um, Christiane Northrup's book. <laughs> and I realized, wait a minute, I think I'm making this too complicated. So I was so happy now that you can get this off of your back office, guys. And I really suggest that you really begin to do this. This is the getting started. And all I did was print it out and have it bound. And isn't that amazing? It's as simple as you don't have to go out and create a whole new book. It's right here, and that's the beauty. And you know what? I was listening. How many of you guys know Eric Warren? Ah, I was listening to him on the way over here, and one of the things that he said was that he and his company experienced the most amount of growth when they all together, all together use the same system the company experienced the most amount of growth. And I thought to myself, awesome, because that's where we are here in USANA. We are not divided, we are united, yeah? So um, I'm, I, I, what I did for you guys, because I don't wanna sit here and read and insult your intelligence, I just kind of um, put a little PowerPoint together, only 10 slides, that are sort of the highlights of, of the things that, um, that I believe are really important. So. Um, Without further ado, I'm just going to put this here, and hopefully I hit the right button. So getting started. So steps to success. I love this. These are really, truly the steps to success. When I actually looked at that, there are steps. And for somebody that's a left brain thinker, they need the steps, right? Um, and that's really good. And so I teach yoga. So you bring that energy, and what that means to me is, this is a reminder to me that as much as I build this business, you will never get who you want or attract who you want in your business. You will always, always attract who you want to be. So you need to shift your energy. If you don't like the circumstances, the people and the events that you're attracting to yourself, it starts from there. So it's the easiest, and this is from straight from the book, guys. I didn't get to any of this. Maybe for a reason, I'm going to pick one page, but this is right in the book. It's as easy as one, two, three, right? So first step is complete the deal template. So here's what I do, and, and again, I'm just giving you what I do and what everybody does is very different. So of course, like what I 
your kids do is something that you will consider and you just kind of make it your own. So what I do is just like um, you know, I, uh, I did it with the hammock. So I usually call them up and, and I say, okay, great. I said, I'm so happy to have you on your team. I do a phone conversation, 30 minute phone conversation with the welcome. I kind of guide them through the back office a little bit. And then I say, this is the first um, you know, homework that you have and this is the theory that you're tracing. When you have done that, I will get an email. Once I get that email, then I will contact you and we will be on the phone again for the second 30 minute fully um, training. But this is what I found. If I went ahead and did it and, and continued the training without the doing of the apprentice, the chances of their success was very minimal. So I will not um, work with them or contact them until they've actually done it. And you have to stand in your power when you do that, guys. I can stand in the power because I'm in, you know, I give homework all the time, right? So you've got to do this or else, you know, you know I, I walk into the classroom, I said, how many of you guys want an A in this class? And everybody raises their hand. And then I ask the question again next week because now I know who's turned in the homework on time. I say, how many of you guys want an A? And everybody raises their hand and says, how come I only got 10 pieces of homework, right? So you, you always have to be at that self check. Second is that, you know, so the E apprentice is important. And then you just read and understand the getting, you know, the getting started guide. Now it's easy. So you tell them, okay, read, at least peruse it. At least get, get it familiar with the getting started. You don't expect to buy a Starbucks and then just walk in and have everything run smoothly, do you? You have to know how that coffee machine works, how the grinder works, how everything works. Otherwise, you're not going to have a successful business, right? So this is a business. And I make it very clear. I'm not about the hype or anything else. I make it very clear. This is a business. And you will get out of it what you put into it. Okay? So then you just identify a potential team leaders, customers, invite, present, follow up, close, um, overcome objections. You know, this is all right there. So it's awesome. And so what I ask them to do is to read it and then write down any questions because the next time I talk to them, we're going to answer their question. Right? Number three is with the help of your sponsor and you set up an appointment. So I always ask them, do you know how to invite people to a movie? And then they say, yeah, good, great. So invite somebody to have some coffee with me, right? Tell them you have a great aunt who's gonna go with you or something. <laughs> so, um, so I just um, work with them that way, right? And I tell them, don't stress. Let me do all the work for you at the beginning. And you just watch, let's watch, yeah. Let's watch, right? And so that's the exciting part. And for me, that's the exciting part because I get so excited just helping people, you know? And I've done presentations at coffee shops. I've done them in a yoga class. I've done, you name it. I even do them in Hawaii in the water, okay? Yeah, that, that was interesting, right? And number four is, you know, um, most Everybody is familiar. Very few people will tell you I don't do Facebook or I don't do this or I don't do that. But social media is really up and coming. So I'm a techie, right? I'm everything Apple. And by the way, I almost lost this whole presentation in cloud heaven. <laughs> right? So anyway, but um, so know a little bit about that. Find out where they are in their social media ease, if you will. Do you do Facebook? Do you do Twitter? Do you do LinkedIn? Do you do uh, Instagram? Do you do collage and, and set your collages up, right? Do you do PicMonkey? Do you do, you know, it's like all of this. Pinterest, oh my God, Pinterest is, is huge and amazing. I'll tell you, that's where I found my gold gown, right? <laughs> Off of Pinterest. You know, it's really true. And so, and meetups, oh, meetups are awesome. How many of you guys have used the meetups, right? Meetups are awesome. Right? So you do meetups. Um, and so what I do with my training, separate and apart, is I teach my, my people how to use all social media and what a meetup is all about and how to handle that. Right? And so um, we have meetups at fun places. CPK, California 